Hi children, this is Nigel. It always seems impossible until it's done. Well, the present situation, COVID-19, is an unprecedented challenge which has put more questions than answers. However, we teachers are resilient and we are trying to come up with the best support for our students. And in response to this unprecedented challenge, we are trying to provide you with the best of the resource on our school app. You may think it's critical. Yes, it is for us to have access to everything needed to support students learning at home. But believe us, we will do our best to update you with the best of the resource. Well, without wasting much of our time, children, we are going to start with chapter 2. Nelson Mandela, A Long Walk for Freedom. Nelson Mandela, you see, everyone knows we have uh, more often read in our history books. Nelson Mandela was a socialist, politician, philanthropist who became South Africa's first black president from 1994 to 1999. After becoming involved in the anti-apartheid movement in his 20s, Mandela joined the African National Congress in 1942. For 20 years, for 20 years he directed a campaign of peaceful, non-violent defiance against the South African government and its racist policies. Children, we are fortunate that we are in the time period when we have experienced our country already on the verge of development. We have not undergone or experienced the harsh times when the British ruled India. It was really pathetic and you see the great leaders they toiled really very hard to bring our country to this position. So we have like gained freedom. It is only because of those people. Now coming down to the chapter. You see Nelson Mandela chapter A Long Walk to Freedom it's an autobiography. Autobiography well, children, it is an expression of a person's life written by self. Whereas, if I talk about biography, it is the life history of an individual written by someone else. Now, you must be thinking, speculations must be coming in your mind that what for the chapter Nelson Mandela is in our literature and CRT book. Of course, there is an objective, many things to learn, which we shall discuss later. Now, coming on to the point, you see children, the life of Nelson Mandela serves as a shining example that one person can change the world. Today, we will learn that heroes are not a thing of fiction or of the past, but that heroes are part of our contemporary world and that all of our lives are better for that. We hope you and our students will enjoy taking this long walk with Nelson Mandela and finding new ways to think about the world in which we live. Now children, what is this chapter all about? Before Coming to the glimpse of the chapter, let me tell you one very important fact. That you see when we were ruled by the British, when we were ruled by the British, it was rather very much impossible for us at that point of time to revolt. But a time came when people thought for it and definitely they fought for freedom. Now, 
if you are asking if you are requesting for freedom definitely freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor it must be demanded by the oppressed so during that point of time you see we were the oppressed and the british were the oppressors the same condition lies with south africa when the whites were ruling they were the oppressed and the blacks were the oppressors so till the time that realization point came then and there they achieved freedom though it was a long battle a long struggle but still nothing is permanent it has to end now coming down to the chapter children this chapter seems to be very very important not as a part of learning now but it will also serve your purpose for your final exams so you need to pay attention and listen to it very carefully you can note down few points few points are also reflected on the screen well you see a long walk to freedom provides us a glimpse of the early life of nelson mandela his education 30 years in prison and the pains he had suffered in his young age the chapter recounts his fight for the freedom for his own people who were tortured by the whites in the chapter mandela gives two contradictory pictures of his own country one in which the blacks were tortured and suffered quietly and second the blacks will be free to live the life of their own now children when you will read this chapter as i have always been doing the basic in my regular basic classes generally the overview the learning outcome and theme is very very important so before i proceed with that let me introduce you to the characters when you will go through the chapter in detail nelson mandela is the protagonist of course he suffered a lot of pain for the freedom and the second most important character you will find is zinani that is or she is daughter of nelson mandela who accompanied mandela in his inauguration day and she was very much close to him now as you will read the chapter the most important part the chapter overview i will divide it into different segments coming to the first segment that is the segment of the inauguration ceremony it was 10th may the day of oath with a bright and shiny sun uh, nelson mandela was supposed to take oath as the first black president of south africa a large number of leaders all from around the world had gathered there to be the witness of the swearing in ceremony of nelson mandela as the first black president and children you know this is the reason why this day a red letter day has been marked as a very important day for them the reason many people gathered now the inauguration ceremony took place in a big open building in pretoria where the first democratic non racial government was to be installed second segment or second subheading i would rather say the swearing in ceremony of nelson mandela how it happened nelson mandela was accompanied by his daughter during that time zinani mr deklak was the first person who took oath as second deputy president followed by mr thabo who swore as the first deputy president of south africa nelson mandela was the last person who swore as the first black president of south africa during the time when he took the pledge he pledged to obey and uphold the constitution and to devote himself to the well-being of the people he also promised to make the nation free from poverty deprivation suffering and all sort of discrimination which the nation was going on next during that swearing in ceremony the display of the military power by south african jets when mandela had taken oath you see children south african jets displayed the military power 
it also showed the loyalty of military to democracy the highest military general saluted him he recounted that they would have arrested him many years before it was followed by the playing of two national anthems children two national anthems the white sang their song the old one and the blacks sang dear stem the new song which marked the end of the ceremony now can anyone tell me why both the songs were sung of course there is only one reason that is to give due respect to both integrity comes here so when the two songs were sung it symbolizes the respect nelson mandela wanted to bestow upon both whites as well as blacks next apartheid and south africa you see children like the reminiscences about days gone by which will soon be the part of history where the whites had formed a system of racial dominance against the blacks it was the basis of the harsh societies which was then overturned nelson mandela says that the policy of apartheid created a deep and lasting wound on his country and its people of course to this point i would like to relate one short story of a tiger which was painted and you know many people like uh, claimed and proclaimed because the tiger had become black and white they claimed that they would uh, again color it back in the same but you know children no one could do that except for one man who came and infused something in the tiger's ears the tiger changed its color automatically it became the same yellow and black stripe the reason was that he infused in the tiger's ears the word freedom so coming down to the point who doesn't like freedom so nelson mandela felt that somewhere the system that recognized the rights and freedom of all people was required you see children regret when like you know when uh, nelson mandela uh, acquired or in fact um, after working very hard when he attained freedom when entire south africa was enjoying mandela was regretting but why this is a very important point and has come in several exams on the auspicious day mandela regretted you know what the loss of thousands of people and remembered their sacrifices for the freedom from discrimination he thought of himself as the sum of all those african patriots who sacrificed their lives before him he was pained that he couldn't thank them you know this part this part actually touches everyone's heart this portrays that nelson mandela was a very humble and grounded person he recalled great freedom fighters like oliver tambos walter chief luthelli and many more at the same time we come down to the fifth segment that is goodness and duties of a man but what do we mean by that goodness and duties of a man the author says that being white or black is not the token of your goodness or superiority no one is born healing other people should love one another which comes without force as it is natural it is man's essential goodness a man has to perform duties to his family community and country which he didn't see in his country before he pushed himself to fight for the blacks a black man was punished if he tried to live like a human being and forced to live apart from his own people so he was not allowed to perform his duties to his family you know there has to be a point a turning point where one thinks of doing wonders one never revolts until and unless the situation provokes now what changed what incident changed 
नेल्सन मंडेला और आई वुड रादर से मीनिंग ऑफ फ्रीडम बाई मंडेला एज अ किड मंडेला हैड डिफरेंट मीनिंग फॉर बींग फ्री एज ई वॉन्टेड टू रन इन द फील्ड्स एंड वॉन्टेड टू स्टे आउट एट नाइट एज ई ग्रू ओल्डर ही वॉन्टेड द फ्रीडम ऑफ लाइवलीहुड फॉर हिमसेल्फ एंड हिज फैमिली बट सोन ही रियलाइज दैट सच फ्रीडम वॉज ओनली एन इल्यूजन ही रियलाइज दैट इज ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स हु लुक लाइक हिम वर नॉट फ्री सो हियर कम्स द पॉइंट द पॉइंट ऑफ डिविएशन ही ज्वाइंड अफ्रीकन नेशनल कांग्रेस his hunger for freedom became great for the freedom of his people he desired that everyone should be given the right to live his life with dignity and respect he wanted the oppressor and the oppressed to be liberated as no one is free if one is taking someone else's freedom only such feelings can bring true freedom for everyone so the concept of mandela with regard to freedom now you see children freedom you know you cannot access of course you need to demand you need to revolt so at the same time after going through this chapter what do you feel what have you actually accessed what would you take uh, for future how would you relate to your life skills well you would see after this overview after reading the chapter thoroughly you will find that mental grit and determination can change the course of life of a determined youth at the same time one who always gives excuses never finds a solution so we need to focus where there is a will there is a way there is nothing that can defeat you if you so desire and of course you will see the sacrifices of the great freedom fighters of south africa here we can relate to all the sacrifices of our great freedom fighters of india so we need to inculcate these values you know children just simply reading the chapter and mugging up rote learning will not help you need to analyze and you need to correlate that what values am i taking from this chapter at the same time you would find the theme reflecting how mandela sacrifices in his life to remove the social inequality from the country he says that he wants a nation where he is free to do as he thinks the central theme is social inequality along with courage and sacrifices to remove it well children i would suggest you to go through the chapter and try to get the gist of course apart from answering the questions which are given in the book what is more required is to reflect ponder the life values try to correlate the life values especially when i speak about the twin obligation especially when i talk about the meaning of freedom and do remember the freedom fighters at the same time children you need to give a thorough reading once again i would suggest you for that at the same time meanwhile you take rest stay safe stay at home thank you and have a good day